faith corporately for the church, also individually and very personal to every individual. So we are having Esther's fasting as we embrace Queen Esther tomorrow. And remember, by the third day, you will have favor. Favor above all. Favor above your finances, above your health, above your family, your children, in every sense of the word, favor. Because there is favor in that Esther's fasting. Just like he, she found favor in the eyes of her king, God will do the same in your situation. So Esther's fasting, beginning tomorrow. I know you don't want to be reminded, but I want to remind you, New Methodist, uh, Christian Fellowship, worldwide, globally, Esther's fasting, beginning tomorrow, and then it ends on the 3rd of May. And uh, thank you for that. Well, for the team in Lao, we have uh, Talanga Sete uh, going with the Utu Nialo today, and they will be joining the team. And I stand today to uh, thank uh, Kyle and all the team, the trust of uh, Utu Nialo. I stand on behalf of New Methodist to say thank you uh, for um, taking on our request and also coming on board to help us with evangelism as they will be the vessel taking the team uh, from island to island. I'm so grateful and thankful uh, that you've taken us on and not only that with our cargo of tokens uh, that you willingly took us on with our extra passenger uh, Tetu Lauren Bono who will be going with the team today. So we are so much looking forward and the Esther's fasting and all this fasting for the church is basically uh, for what is going to be out there in the Lao group and for the people of Lao and everybody that is involved for salvation and everything that God can do. It's very interesting this morning on the Bible study when it comes to the uh, water baptism. And I believe not only for those who believe in already in, but for those non-believers who will know that they can qualify as well for that salvation. And uh, thank you also again to the Utonialo and it's a trust and um, everything that you have done for us, uh, the discounted rate, the uh, extra tokens and extra cargo and the extra person that you're taking on board. Um, there's not a word that I can find to say our gratitude uh, for that. We would like to say, I understand, on behalf of the church, uh, just to uh, uh, verbalize or vocalize our gratitude uh, towards everything that you have done. And I know you're looking forward as well as we work together, not only with your uh, one of your um, motto or one of the motives or one of the projects you're always on, on the conservation. And I believe we can work together to bring that to pass. And uh, we are so looking forward on what the days will bring as they endeavor to the islands, the beautiful islands of Lao and uh, we're looking forward to the pictures and every captures that we can uh, uh, you know uh, look back and say even though we haven't been to the islands I haven't been to my village in actual fact I haven't been I'm from Lakamba White Tambo and also Vasu Wadimwadi in Lakamba but I haven't been to my village but I've been to the small village of my husband uh, right in Namukai Lao it's beautiful though uh, surrounded by beautiful atoll and it's very very beautiful and both from Lakamba and um, I'm very poor when it comes to uh, our relatives, but I believe, you know, if it takes for this team just to come around and get somebody to be baptized or receive the Lord Jesus Christ, that's a worthwhile investment that you cannot put any money value to it. So thank you once again to Team Lau, and thank you for everything that is happening out there uh, in the island, and thank you for everything uh, that you have done so far. And also, Chokatamagio, I believe, is coming back with the team uh, with Talaga Simbambitu and Talaga Seorisi uh, coming back on the aircraft today. Thank you for your contribution towards the Talano sessions uh, that has happened throughout the island of Bonomalago. Well, on that note, I will invite Tal um, Talangase. She will be actually leading the service today, and we have some beautiful combination today. We have two uh, very powerful testimonies from uh, Milia Vuli, uh, as well as Marin Davetinibalu, and we have a chapter that is going to be recited to us today by none other but, uh, but uh, Israel Wangai uh, Numbete this morning. So it's going to be a very, you know, good package this morning. So tune in. Don't miss out. Tune in and be part of this fellowship. And now I will invite the um, Associate Senior Pastor to lead us with the service.